Hey guys, HTV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some pretty big stuff to go over for the Generation 9 games. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are getting a new update patch next week to fix some current bugs in the game. We have a few other things to go over as well for Pokemon in general. Plenty of stuff to break down today though. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off as i just said pokemon scarlet and violet are getting an update patch next week it was tweeted out by cerebi uh, saying cerebi update a new patch for pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet is to release next week fixes an issue that happened with uh, competitions including the Japan and Korean Invitational Qualifiers. Now we don't know what day this is going to be going live on but it's going to either be uh, I'm assuming the 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th or the 26th. Um, obviously this is just going to cause a lot of kind of anger in the community because there's still no Pokemon Home update and some people may think this is the Pokemon Home update. This isn't the Pokemon Home update. Pokemon Home needs to be updated, not the Generation 9 games when that all goes live. I think we actually have Joe Merrick here talking about this. No, this update won't be Pokemon Home connectivity. Pokemon Home needs the patch for that, not Scarlet and Violet. So yeah, this is just an update patch for the Generation 9 games to fix some bugs. Again, I don't know if it's fixing anything else or just this competition thing that happened in like Japan and the Korean invitational qualifiers uh we'll have to wait and see what happens of course if there is a ton of patch notes we'll have, we'll make a video about it uh, we'll make a video about when it goes live anyway but hopefully there's a bunch of patch notes as well because there's still like the save data bug glitch and stuff going around that people are still a little bit worried about uh with this game still the massive problem with like the lag spikes and the dropped frames and stuff again i could go on with the amount of issues in pokemon scarlet and violet at this point in time so hopefully it does fix a couple of those uh we haven't had the last update patch that long ago so i'm not expecting it to like patch a ton of stuff uh, but this is originally what it is going to be patching so this is pokemon's uh, japanese twitter account posting uh saying notice we have confirmed that there was a bug that caused unintended behavior in the invitation only internet tournament pokemon japan championships 2023 main battle held in pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet all contestants have been sent information about future actions to the email addresses registered in their Nintendo account. We will continue to operate the tournament, taking it seriously, uh, the points and opinions we have received regarding this matter. So this is obviously really good because this has just been like found out, like these this bug and stuff, and they're already kind of created a patch for it. Um, so hopefully they, they will be creating more patches and stuff for the other problems. But I don't know, it, it just shows that they are kind of like on board when when they can when they can fix something easily they will fix it um, which of course with the lag spikes and stuff obviously it must be a little bit more difficult but yeah we are getting a new update patch next week for pokemon for pokemon scarlet and violet uh, is not the pokemon home update again i'm recording this before any kind of potential pokemon home update there's still a lot of kind of rumors suggesting that we're going to be getting that this friday um it seems less likely now just simply because we haven't had any kind of notica notification about it or any kind of announcement about it. And I don't think they're just going to shadow drop it. So we'll have to wait and see. Again, it could have been 19 days from the day that Riddler Koo posted that kind of 19 tweet. And if that is the case, then the Pokemon Home update will be coming out next week. I don't know. I feel like a broken record saying that Pokemon Home is going to be coming out. But again, I'm just going off what the leakers are saying that have got like trusted information. I can only do that. You know, I don't know when home's coming out. I'm just going over when these trusted leakers are saying it. So the 19th could mean the 19th. It could mean 19 days from when you posted it. It could mean the 19th of June. Hopefully it doesn't mean that. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, Pokemon Home isn't this update that's coming out next week. Pokemon Home could come out next week, could come out this week. We don't know, but this is just about the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet update. Uh, talking about Pokemon Home though, there's been a lot of kind of things dropping uh, in regards to the update of people getting it early and stuff, which I don't even know how it would be possible because they'd roll it all out to everyone. Uh, so this was a rumor posted by Poirileaks. This has since been confirmed fake. It's just a lot of people have been sending this to me. Um, so this image of Pokemon Home has surfaced on the internet showcasing Pokemon Scarlet working with Pokemon Home. The person who posted said that the date is May the 19th, which is obviously this Friday, uh, which runs in line with Q posting the number 19. Again, this is the only reason that people believe that it's coming out this Friday is just because Riddler Q posted 19. It might even just be talking about 19 terraforms we're just expecting it to be the 19th because that's when uh, that's he, he's only really been talking about pokemon home late uh, recently but again it, it could be something completely different so obviously this was the image posted kind of made the rounds and stuff online it, it turned out it was fake though uh, this was pokemon home um 
just kind of saying that it was fake. This was obviously deleted by Centro Leaks because Centro Leaks also posted it. But uh, yeah, it's basically confirmed fake because it says this, which is Pokemon Shield. Uh, and then we also have Matt showing how easy it is to actually create a fake leak. So if you ever see these kind of like images online, it's just like blurry as hell nine times out of 10 or 99 times out of 100 it is fake he's just kind of shown here how easy it is to make don't believe fake leaks like this and stuff so uh yeah like these images they'll pop up on 4chan when it comes close to like the pokemon home release and stuff like they're all pretty much false like fair play with like the pokemon scarlet and violet base games because you know you can get that early i don't know how you would get pokemon home early though because it's literally an update they roll out to everyone uh so that's the fake pokemon home stuff i just quickly wanted to go over because a lot of people have been sending me these like kind of images and stuff and you know just kind of put a nail in the coffin it is all fake uh finishing things off we have a really cool theory here by uh, nathaniel carr who uh, tweeted this at me a few weeks ago I'm really just getting around to it. Um, but this is a really cool theory about how Terrapagos, um, it's like ori ori origins and stuff and how it could have been um, kind of created. Uh, so yeah, Nathaniel here saying, I watch a lot of your videos. Thank you for watching, Nathaniel. I believe uh, I became fascinated with Pokemon's Chinese uh, etymology translation uh, in the Paldea region, there is a possibility that Terrapagos is a combination of Chinese myths. When we look at the image from Scarlet and Violet, it isn't a third form. All El Del Deep, uh, Del Deep Hawaii. So obviously some people think that is, this is a third form. So we have the baby Terrapagos that we saw in the anime. We have the normal Terrapagos that we saw in the Scarlet and Violet DLC announcement. And then we have this image of Terrapagos in the third book. Or in the Scarlet and Violet book, should I say. That could be the third form. Um, because it does look a little bit different. It obviously has the crown, the tail's a little bit longer. But again, that's just kind of theories and stuff about it. As we know, Pokemon likes to pull from different mythologies and combine it with their own myths to uh, so strap in. The first myth story is about uh, Pangu and Nuwa from China, where Pangu dies who separated sky and land. Uh, Nuwa cuts off the legs of the world turtle. So, so that's obviously very, very, uh, very, very joyous uh, to prop the sky. In this myth, Nuwa needed to save the world using the world turtle's legs because the heavens of or sky was falling because the water god Gong Gong hit a mountain which caused a flood in the heavens that caused destruction on earth. This image uh, in Scarlet and Violet looks like a protector. What is Terrapagos protecting? Well, let's take a look at its tail. As the image shows, sorry for the quality, we see a boat and waves, and by Terrapagos' head, it almost looks like him preventing a tidal wave uh, from hitting the land and sky. This brings me to my next myth. I mean, I, I I do see that, but also you've got to take into account like the whole kind of night sky has got like the space kind of themes and stuff around it. So I do like that idea about like protecting the boat and stuff. But um, I also want to know like why there's planets and stuff in, in the background. So the Great Flood of China, not the 1900 ones, but the, the Gunyu myth had a king named Yu the Great who saved his empire from a giant flood that drowned many devised away with the assistance of a turtle and dragon created channels, which we know are the Yellow River. Uh, this supports the image of separation of land and sea. It is possible that Terrapagos in the Pokemon world is used as a king for saving Paldea from the damage caused by the crater. I think I do disagree with this slightly just because um, in the book they they found it in Area Zero and they've like kind of called it that name that was obviously blocked out in the book. I feel like if it was a king of Paldea it would have been I guess shown more and just celebrated more but nobody really talks about Terrapagos you don't really find out about it until you go into the deep parts of Area Zero that, that like nobody goes into so it's used as a king for saving Paldea from the damage caused by the crater. It could be flooding was coming from the crater and Terrapagos plugged it up with its terra crystals. Let's address the dome. Will Turtle in Chinese uh, mythology has the turtle shell carrying the heavens and depictions in Hindu myths has the turtle having elephants on its back which help hold up the earth. Terrapagos' shell is prepping up what we assume lands of Paldea in the image. So in the Pokemon universe, Terrapagos is seen as a legendary king of Pokemon who used its terra crystals protecting land and sky from the great flood of a tsunami, tsunami probably, uh, possibly the crater could have been flooding or caused by Terrapagos trying to control the Great Flood as Great You Did. Uh, and then obviously, as I just said, this is an awesome theory. It is an awesome theory. I do really like it. They, they do take inspiration from different things, like obviously the uh, the whole kind of uh, Ogre Pond theory and, and inspiration from that. We kind of like hit the nail on the head. Like we know kind of what that is inspired from. Terrapagos is a little bit more out there. And this is a really cool way of kind of... Uh, showing how it, it could have been a thing so really cool theory, uh, theory here by nathaniel so shout out to him and uh, that's basically everything that i wanted to go over today's video uh like i say look out of this update patch next week of course i'll post a video when it does go live again it could be monday tuesday wednesday so thursday or friday we just don't know uh pokemon home update hopefully this week if not 
better be next week. Like, we're nearly like, halfway through May now. Um, so hopefully we'll find out more information about that. And then, uh, yeah, that's kind of everything that I wanted to go over to get, uh, today. Remember, don't believe all these fake kind of, like, images and stuff that pop up. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Let's try and hit 500. Leave a comment with your thoughts on everything we covered. Subscribe if you're brand new. It's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.